the best double majors for business degrees. That's what we're gonna be talking about today. And this is a very highly requested video. I have people hitting me up all the time to make these double major videos. But before we get into it, make sure to gently tap the like button in order to defeat the evil YouTube algorithm. On this channel, we talk about personal finance, college degrees, careers and opportunities that are gonna lead you to success. And we also go over how you can avoid some of the common financial traps that so many people end up falling for. If you're new here, or that sounds like something that interests you and you haven't done it already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button which only about 18% of you have. What the heck is going on with that? And then also don't forget to ring the notification bell. Now I'm even more excited than usual about making this particular video because I think business related degrees make the best double majors out of any type of degree. Now there's a bunch of reasons and I'm gonna get into some of the most important ones later on in the video, but basically they're extremely flexible and they go along with pretty much any type of degree or even any career path that you wanna go down. So for instance, let's say you're passionate about, I'm just gonna pick something completely random like skateboarding. Okay, you're passionate about skateboards and you want to work in the skateboarding industry. There's not that many degrees that would lead to career paths where you could work in the skateboarding industry. However, if you got a business degree and maybe combined it with a technology degree, you could create something later on down the line, like a skateboard that has a motor or an engine on it, and then it would sell really well. You get the idea with a business degree, you could work in just about any industry. You could work with just about any company. Almost all companies hire business majors. And there's also a ton of different career paths that you could go down with a business degree. So the first one that I'm gonna talk about is gonna be a business degree plus an economics degree. Now you see either dual degrees or double degrees all the time when it comes to business and economics. So for instance, you've got applied economics and management where you're gonna start off making around $60,000 a year and 139,000 in mid-career pay. You've got accounting and economics where you're gonna start off making around $61,000 a year and 117,000 in mid-career pay. And then you've also got finance and economics where you're gonna start off making $59,000 a year and 108,000 in mid-career pay. And honestly, with business degrees, I could go on and on and on. You see so many different really good combinations when it comes to business majors. One career path you could go down is becoming a financial analyst. They make around $81,000 a year. There's 487,000 jobs available and it's growing at 5%, which is faster than average. Now, one thing I always like to mention is I did that video on the degrees that create the most millionaires and check that out if you haven't done it already. But economics came in as number three on the the list of all the different degrees that lead to people becoming a millionaire. And on top of that, six out of the top 10 degrees were either business degrees or business related. So you see that people who get these types of degrees do tend to end up becoming millionaires. Now, one of the obvious reasons is these degrees do tend to lead to jobs that are relatively high paying, but I think that's probably the least important out of the real reasons that I'm about to mention. I think more importantly, when you get a business degree as well as an economics degree, you tend to learn extremely valuable personal finance skills at a very young age. So for instance, you're not gonna get a business degree without taking lots of classes on knowing how to budget and run the numbers for a company. And things like saving, budgeting, and investing, especially if you learn them at a young age, can be incredibly valuable. I've made videos about this before, but if you start investing at age 18 and you just do 10 to $15 a day into a Roth IRA, you're going to be a millionaire easily by the time you retire. That's basically two to three Starbucks lattes a day and you're a millionaire. Now, just as important as investing money, is also learning how to budget and save money. I mean, you could make as much money as you want, but if you don't know how to budget and save, you're probably just gonna end up spending on, on things you don't need. This is why around 80% of people who win the lottery end up going broke, and around 70% of professional athletes that make millions and millions of dollars a year end up going bankrupt as well. So for instance, in undergrad, I took several business classes, and one of the first things they taught me was how to make a budget for a business, how to run the numbers. Things like cost of goods sold, for instance, revenue, profit, etc. And if you can do bookkeeping for a business, it would be very easy for you to start budgeting for yourself. So I think that's the first main reason that you see so many business related degrees on this list. And then I think the second major reason is that people who get business degrees tend to go on to start their own businesses and become entrepreneurs. After getting a few years of real life experience, you know, work experience, and then learning valuable skills, you're probably going to notice that there are some opportunities out there that you can take advantage of. And it's been shown that business owners on average make about double what the average person makes when it comes to their salary. And it's been shown when you compare a business owner to somebody who just has a normal salary, your average business owner is gonna make almost twice as much. Second on the list is going to be business degrees plus technology degrees. And again, there's so many different examples here. I'm just gonna choose a few of them. You got operations management and information systems and you'd make around $61,000 a year starting out and 114,000 in mid-career pay. With business and information technology, you'd make around 58,000 starting out and 108,000 in mid-career pay. And then with with 
accounting and computer systems, you'd make 60,000 starting out and 103,000. So you see with any number of these different combinations, you're gonna have the opportunity to make over $100,000 a year. And I always talk about how happiness is very important when it comes to your career path and studies have shown that you increase your happiness up to around 75 to $80,000 a year. So it's always a good idea to aim for a career path or a job where you can make around 75 to 80,000 a year, depending on where you live and a bunch of other different factors. One career path that you could do with these degree combinations that would be quite a bit more than that would be a computer and information systems manager and they make around $146,000 a year. There's 461,000 jobs available and it's growing at a ridiculous 10%, which is much faster than average. Now, one of the really cool things about learning business skills, in my opinion, is that it's kind of an evergreen skill. If you teach somebody business skills and then you put them 100 years into the past, they'd probably be successful. And same thing if you drop them 100 years into the future. Whereas when it comes to technology skills, they're probably gonna be valuable into the future as well. But right now, for some reason, they are extremely hot. So for instance, ZipRecruiter put together this really cool tool called the Skills Index, where they basically showed how valuable different skills are to companies on the market. In other words, how much are companies willing to pay people for these different types of skills? And you see that at the very bottom, industrial suing had a score of eight out of 100. So it's not a skill that's very valued on the market. And then at the very top, you saw that software engineering had a score of 88 out of 100. That's the highest on the entire list. And if you look at other parts of the list, that's pretty much littered with different types of technology related skills. So you're basically learning an evergreen skill, which is business. And then you're combining that with something that's extremely hot right now, which is technology. Not only will there be tons of jobs out there for you, but at the same time, later on, if you wanted to start a business, you're probably going to notice that there's a lot of opportunity in an industry like tech. So you'd have a much better chance of starting a successful business if you were in the industry of technology and you had business related skills. On top of that, if that wasn't enough, I think that business related degrees as well as technology related degrees are relatively future proof. For instance, going back to the career path that we talked about, computer and information systems managers that shows that on will robots take my job, there's only about a 4% chance that it's going to be automated. So yeah, the combination of these two things is going to be killer. It's definitely one of the better combinations that you can do. And I really like how flexible it is as well. So let's say that you made a really good plan and you decided you wanted to become a computer information systems manager. And then five years down the line, you're kind of like, you know what? I don't really want to do this anymore. Both of these skills are relatively flexible and you'd probably be able to use your skills to get into a different career relatively easily. Pretty much every industry, every business, and even every career out there is being affected in one way or another by technology. And so this is really good for you to learn these skills. Next one on the list is going to be a business degree plus another business degree. So again, tons of different examples. I'm just gonna pick a few for you. Corporate accounting and finance, you'd start off making $61,000 a year and mid-career pay would be 123,000. Another really good combination would be entrepreneurship and marketing, where you'd start off making $48,000 a year and mid-career pay would be 111,000. Another one would be international business and finance, where you'd start off making $57,000 a year and mid-career pay would be 111,000 as well. One career path you might find yourself going down with that last one would be a financial manager. They make around $129,000 a year. There's 697,000 jobs available and it's growing at a ridiculous 15%. Now, business degrees have a lot of different strengths and I've already mentioned quite a few of them, but one of the few weaknesses they have is that they tend to be a little bit too general. So for instance, when you look at business degrees and what percentage of people regret them, according to ZipRecruiter, they are the second least regretted type of degree at about 15%. But the leading reason for that regret was the fact that they're a little bit too general. And this kind of makes sense and it does sort of go hand in hand with the flexibility. The major reason that you're going to college, especially if you're gonna go like $40,000 in debt in order to go, is that you're learning a specialized skill that is valued on the market. Something that is going to lead you to be able to get a job and start a career that you're going to love. A lot of the time a business degree can be a little too general and it might just teach you kind of a surface level of a bunch of different things rather than diving deep into one specialty. So sometimes it might be a good idea for you to get two business related degrees at the same time and double major so that you can have a unique skill set. That way you make it a little more specific and less general to people who might be looking to hire you like hiring managers or owners. Next one on the list is going to be a business degree plus an engineering degree. So one example here would be an industrial engineering degree plus a management degree, which you'd start off making $63,000 a year and mid-career pay would be 106,000. There's of course a ton of different career paths you could go down, but one would be industrial engineer, which you'd make $88,000 a year. There's 295,000 jobs available and it's growing at 10%, which is much faster than average. Now, 
one thing about engineering degrees, and I've mentioned this before, is that they tend to make more over a lifetime than all of the other types of degrees. So for instance, according to census data, all degrees and in going into all different types of occupations make around $2.4 million over a lifetime. Whereas engineering degrees going into all different types of occupations will make on average about 3.5 million. And if you get an engineering degree and then you go into a management occupation, you'll make on average around $4.1 million over a lifetime. Business degrees aren't all that far behind though. They come in around fourth on the list and they make around $2.6 million over a lifetime. So it's still above average. Now, one thing that I'd like to mention here is engineering on its own is an extremely difficult degree. And the average person out there is probably gonna have trouble getting an engineering degree done in four years just on its own. So double majoring in engineering and then another type of degree is going to be even more difficult. However, if you've done your research and you have a really good plan going in and you are going to double major in another type of degree, chances are it would be a good idea to do business. The reason for this, and I know I'm probably gonna get some mean comments down below, is that business degrees, objectively speaking, are probably not even close to as hard as an engineering degree. Now, I know that degrees are what you make of them and, you know, everybody's different. You know, things are always gonna be subjective. For one person, engineering might be easier than a business-related degree, for instance. But realistically speaking, on average, business degrees are going to be quite a bit easier than engineering ones. And so it wouldn't be as bad for you to double major in engineering and business versus double majoring in like engineering and a mathematics degree or engineering and a technology degree. The only people that would be able to do that are pretty much geniuses or people who wanna spend like six years getting their bachelors. Now, when it comes to business degrees, it is kind of true that they are what you make of them. There are people who have probably gone to school for four years, gotten their business degree and haven't learned a single thing from it. So they kind of are what you make of them. You wanna make sure that you're engaged and you're actually getting your money's worth. And on top of that, different programs are gonna be different. There might be some business programs out there in different schools that are gonna be much harder than others. Number five on the list is going to be a business degree plus a science degree. Now, out of all the ones on the list, this is gonna be the combination that, in my opinion, makes the least sense. Sure, there might be some career paths out there or there might be some kind of future plans you have where it would make sense, but compared to all the other ones, it probably makes the least sense out of all of them. With that being said, one combination here would be a construction science degree and a management degree where you'd make $61,000 a year starting out and $95,000 in mid-career pay. It was actually pretty difficult to find combinations here, whereas with almost any other type of degree, there were tons of combinations with business degrees. And I think that these two just don't really go together all that well. If you look at the ZipRecruiter Skills Index, you're gonna see that there's a lot of business-related skills that are ranked really high. So for instance, project planning and business process management are both in the top five skills. They have a ranking of 86 out of 100. However, when it comes to science-related skills, Skills, you really don't see all that many of them on this list, unfortunately. A lot of the time when you get a science degree, and by the way, I've talked about this quite a bit on other types of videos, but I'm just gonna go over it really briefly because I think it's important. A lot of the time you'll have to either get a master's degree or even a doctoral level degree in order to get a job. Many people get a science degree and then they end up going on to either med school or maybe they end up going into the health related professions. And if that's your plan, then this can be really good. But if you think that you're just gonna get a biology degree, for instance, and then you're gonna get hired as a biologist and you're gonna have a great career, that's probably not gonna happen unless you really plan things out and you knew the right people. I told this story before, but I had a really good friend in undergrad and she wanted to go to medical school, so she got a biology degree because she thought that would be really good prereqs for med school. She ended up not getting into medical school and decided that she didn't really wanna be a doctor, which is pretty common. A lot of people find out that they actually don't wanna work like 80 hours a week and go to school for like 17 years. But the problem was she was stuck with the biology degree and she wasn't able to find a job with just a four-year bachelor's. And this is somebody who was very smart. She had pretty close to a 4.0. So she ended up having to go back to grad school and she eventually ended up going for her doctorate. Now, in that particular case, things did turn out well, but there's a lot of cases where they don't. So you gotta be really careful here when it comes to getting science-related degrees. Next on the list, we're gonna be talking about business degrees and mathematics degrees. Again, this is one where there's gonna be a ton of different combinations, not just double degrees, but also dual degrees where it's actually it built into the program where the degree is put together already. So an example of that would be actuarial mathematics, where you're going to start off making $61,000 a year and mid-career pay is a whopping $130,000. And there's a ton of other examples of both double degrees and dual degrees, but I don't want to show you a bunch of them. You just have to take my word for it. But one career path you could go down with this degree is becoming an actuary and they make around $108,000 a year and there's 27,000 jobs available, meaning it's growing around 18%, which is much faster than average. Now, one little test that I like to do is I like to type in the keyword into either 
you know, monster.com or indeed.com, all these different sites where you're looking for jobs. So for instance, if you type in the keyword mathematics degree into monster.com, you're gonna see that 68,000 of the listings have that as a keyword in their description. That means there's 68,000 job listings where people put the words mathematics degree in the description, and so they're probably looking for somebody who has a math degree. And you notice this with all different types of math degrees. Statistics would be another example. And same thing goes when you type in business degree. So for example, when you type in marketing degree onto monster.com, there's 283,000 job listings that pop up. And this really makes sense in my opinion because of the fact that mathematics is a relatively general type of degree where you can work in just about any industry. And then of course, we've already talked about business degrees, which are exactly the same way. The only issue with math related degrees is that some of them tend to be a little bit too theoretical and they're not as practical. And that problem gets solved if you combine a mathematics degree with a business degree because business is all about being practical. Business is all about being practical when it comes to the job market, AKA making money. So when you combine a mathematics major with a business major, it's gonna be much easier for you to convince a hiring manager or a business owner that you are gonna have skills that's going to you know, cover at least the cost of your salary. This one is another one that's a killer combination. I don't think it's quite as good as business and technology, but it's still pretty good. It's a great combination of the soft skills that you learn with business, like communication, you know, formulating an argument, talking to other people, and then the hard skills that you would learn with math. And number seven on the list is going to be business plus pretty much any other type of degree. The great thing about business degrees is like I said before, they're extremely flexible. That's why you see so many dual degrees and then double degrees on this list. They work synergistically when you put them together with just about any type of degree out there and they're gonna enhance it. Like I mentioned before, business degrees are gonna teach you those soft skills like communication, etc. but you're also learning some hard skills that are extremely practical in the real world. So for instance, let's say that you are set on being a film major, even though you've watched all my videos and you've seen that it's probably not such a good investment, you're still gonna do it and you know what, more power to you. I think you should follow your passion, that's a great idea. However, maybe it would be a good idea for you to get a film degree and then also get some type of business degree so that you can make yourself a little bit more marketable to people who might hire you. Or at the very least, if you're planning on going out on your own and starting your own business, you'll learn a lot of the skills that you need to know in order to be successful. Another great thing about business related degrees is they're extremely adaptable as times are changing. There's a lot of industries out there that are being completely disrupted by technology. And if you're someone who has business related skills, you are going to be able to use those skills in just about any industry just about any business and all kinds of different professions. Another great thing about business degrees, which I haven't mentioned before, is they're good at just about any level, whether you're talking about an associate's degree, bachelor's, master's, or even doctorate. So we've already talked quite a bit about bachelor's degrees, that's kind of what I focus on on this channel, but a friend of mine has an associate's degree in business administration, and with that degree, he was able to get kind of a low-level management job, I think it was at Macy's. He worked at Macy's for a few years as a manager, and then he moved to a different company and he worked as a manager there and it paid a little bit better and it had a little bit more when it comes to responsibility as well. Then he worked a few years there and then he transferred again to another company which is a Fortune 50 company where he's making well over six figures a year and he's basically got like a dream job. And this is one of those companies that I talk about sometimes on this channel where they basically just spoil their employees. He gets like free snacks, all kinds of perks, all kinds of benefits, it's ridiculous. And all of that was able to be done with just an associate's degree. Then when you look at the master's level, of course, you've got like a master's of business administration and that can make sense in the right situation as well. Now, usually I don't recommend getting a doctorate except in very specific circumstances, but that can also make sense when it comes to business as well. Now, with that being said, number eight on the list is something that you should also consider, which is maybe you just shouldn't double major. If you've been watching my videos, you'll know that the best thing that you can possibly do is try to figure out what career paths that you might go down and then talk to people who are in those career paths and ask them what steps that you should take in order to get there. If you talk to someone and they tell you that double majoring isn't going to make you stand out, it's not going to be impressive to anybody who might hire you and it's pretty much just a waste of your time, then you probably shouldn't double major. However, if you talk to somebody and they say, hey, no, that would actually be a great idea for you to double major in maybe you know marketing and accounting, for instance, then yeah, absolutely, go for it. But in most situations, they're probably going to tell you that you'd be better off spending your time building skills, maybe doing projects on the side, getting some real life work 
work experience by either getting a job or doing an internship. And then another important thing would be for you to be networking, of course. However, I will say that when it comes to double majoring, business degrees do tend to be the best ones to double major in just because they're probably not going to take up a huge amount of your time. Whereas if you were trying to double major in something like engineering and mathematics or maybe, you know, engineering and computer science, that would be very, very difficult for you to do. You'd basically just have to be a genius in order to do that in four years. But with that being said, I've been working on a very exciting project. You guys might have heard about it. I'm doing a college degree ranker and I'm making it available for a very short time in my Patreon. Version 1.1 will only be available for a very short time at this time in my Patreon down below. And my goal with this project is to make the most accurate college degree ranker where I talk about the most important statistics so you can just have them all in one place and be able to look at it very easily. You don't have to search all over the internet in order to find these statistics. This will probably help you make your decision when it comes to what college degrees that you want to go for. I'm also planning some really exciting projects in the future. For instance, I'm going to be putting my stock portfolio down there, the stocks that I think are the best to invest in. But with that being said, if you haven't done it already, gently tap the like button, hit the subscribe button. Only 18% of you have done it. What the heck? <sighs> And after hitting the subscribe button, make sure to ring that notification bell as well. Comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. that you have on the video. Share it with everybody. And before you leave, check out my other videos right here. I made them just for you.